Hello, it's Katie Nora here. And this time I'm going to talk to you about Sekhmet. Sekhmet, the ruling deity of your physical nature, your body, your passion, your divine relationship to life, your ability to claim life and engage with it because it's yours. And because you are a, a divine aspect of the animal kingdom. You're a mammal. You're a, you're a, you're a, the ruling deity of the animals. You're a lioness. So where you are an animal, where you are a human animal, you are, you have the dignity and the power of a lioness. That's within your physical system. And as the goddess Sekhmet, as the ruling deity of this relationship to life, you can connect to that powerful force which has deemed you that you have sprung from that mighty will of Earth in order to realize the most beautiful and perfect of all God's creations, a human female a divine lioness with an intelligence, with a physical intelligence beyond any other species and with a beauty and a relationship to life that is yours and yours alone and yours to celebrate. Celebrate your passions, your joy and your righteous wrath and claim this life for your own. And then the intelligence of your Aufu will operate just like that of a lioness, intelligent and alert, aware, able to relax with your tribe, but always alert to the possibility of danger, just like the lioness, on a physical level. That you um, only kill for food, not for pleasure. And that you are uncompromising as to the magical strengths and power of your own internal boundaries, just like a lioness. Fiercely def defending your, your innermost integral feminine truth and celebrating that from the truth and essence of your being, that Sekhmet. The goddess Sekhmet was created, according to the Egyptians, by her father, Ra, the sun god, when his powers began to diminish through old age. And because of this, fear sprang up in the hearts of people and evil sprang up in the land. So he created this illumined goddess to destroy the evil that came amongst them, to teach them a lesson. And when they had learnt it, he transformed her into Hathor, the lady of love and beauty, the divine feminine as woman, the goddess of love, relationship, the arts, music, aesthetics, and the absolute beauty of being a human woman. But without Sekhmet, there's no Hathor. And without relationship, true relationship to the power and strength of your physical relationship to your body and to life, without that, there's no chance of a civilized, loving, happy relationship with, um, with a powerful, positive, loving other. That sense of feminine power must be there first, must be uncompromising. So that's a little insight into the, the goddess Sekhmet and where she lives in you. Find her, love her, and respect her too. Thank you for listening. Next time, we're going to talk about the goddess Nut, 
a transcendent lady of the stars. But if you'd like to get in touch with me more personally, my uh, details are below. Bye-bye and God bless.